Baltimore's mayoral primary results have been decertified after an unsettling discovery, uncounted votes. Yeah, the city will continue working to figure this all out today. Brendan McNamara joins us live downtown with the latest on what's happening. So, Brendan, what can you tell us? Well, good morning, guys. As far as this mayoral primary, today now all eyes are going to be on the city's uh, voting board of elections office where they're going to be looking into these uh, concerns by the state to figure out exactly what happened here. Now, what's happening this morning is that officials will be comparing the lists of voters from each polling place in the city to the amount of votes that were actually cast at those polling places because the state is concerned that those numbers are, for some reason, not matching up. And this all started yesterday. Yesterday, when the city announced that it had found 80 provisional ballots that were never counted, it's unclear right now where they came from. But once the state found out about that, it demanded that this election be decertified for now, anyway. The city says it's happy to go through everything and take a second look, and that in the end, nothing will probably change here. We are confident that once it's done, all of the paperwork is put on the table, that we will be fine. And we have heard from one of the mayoral candidates. Uh, Catherine Pugh has not commented on the decertification of the election, but Sheila Dixon has said that she's happy that this is happening, and she hopes that uh, in the end, with the state looking into this, that some of her questions about how the election was handled will be answered for the voters. Guys, back to you.